You don't have the funny gene. I, I thought that was kind of funny. No. No? No. I'm definitely funnier. More funny. <laughs> 1967 and 9073. Responding Bravo for an unknown age piece, possibly shot by a BB gun. All other information is unknown. The call comes in for a 16-year-old male who was shot with a BB gun. Yeah, right here. These are cops, yeah, right here. A BB gun typically isn't a deadly weapon, but depending on where he was shot, there could be some serious harm. You gotta shoot off. All right, let's check it out. So we arrive on scene, and I see police there with two patients, one sitting on the ground, and appears bloody. Hey, how's it going? So we think they were, they've definitely been shot. We think an airsoft. It looks like he's got this, it looks like he has something lodged in his chin, but a little more concerned about them. But at this point, we can't tell if the patient was shot with a BB or airsoft gun. But what we do know is there's two small penetrating wounds. Okay, yeah, why don't we go to the back of the truck? We'll check you out. From what we understand, some low lives pointed some guns, shot these kids, and stole their bikes. Do you know who these people were? No. No. We were just riding our bikes. So, like, I, I just bought my bike today. Yeah. And we were, I was just trying it out. Where exactly did it happen, Skipper? Uh, we were in the bottom of that. And our bikes were uh, like on the top. Okay, so we could just take our bikes and run away, but we couldn't because we they like shutting us from the top. So. You feel like it's in there? Yeah. As I'm assessing the patient, okay. yeah, I can feel it in there. I feel there's something hard under the skin. I mean, I can feel it in your face, in your in your chin there. I don't feel anything there. But it's tough to tell if that's a pellet or a hematoma. When they shot me, like, and I tried to t to like, act tough, you know. Yeah. They're like, don't move. So yeah, you weren't on your bikes. You're down on the ski. Yeah, we. And your bikes were on top. We didn't have our bikes at that moment. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, don't move. Don't move. Started shooting me. So yeah, one was in there. I thought my shirt blocked it, but then I one that was. If this patient has a pellet lodged under his skin, it's important to get him to the hospital so he can get it removed or else he runs the risk of an infection. I feel like there is something, it's like moving. Does it, when, if you feel it, does it feel like there's anything underneath it? No, it looks like it bounced off. Yeah. So it's just a little, like, swelling. We're gonna take you to the hospital, okay? okay. What time are you trying to? They need to get that out. Yeah, they need to get that out for sure. Take some deep breaths here, get it out. I feel bad for this kid. It's his first day with his new bike, and it turns out to be his last. You, do, do you think if you saw either of these guys again, you would recognize them? Yes. You want to call this an uh, armed robbery? Two guys jumped out of the bushes on these other two young boys here, pointed guns at them. And they just took our bikes, and they, we tried to chase them. But... Okay. The good news is this patient doesn't appear to be seriously injured, and the bike is replaceable.